Hey guys, I am Heenal Jain. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to teach you people some basic techniques of pencil shading. So let's get started. So for this you need a coin and with the coin you have to make some circles. You need an HB pencil for this. Any brand's HB pencil will be fine. So you have to hold your pencil like this or like this but not like this. This is not the way you hold your pencil while shading. Hold your pencil from back, not from front as it applies more pressure. So you have to hold it from behind or, or hold it like this. This is the easiest way to hold a pencil while shading. Moving on for our first shading, it's a very basic shading, I'll zoom a little, just have to move your pencil into circular direction so that there are no rough lines in between, apply little pressure. Apply very little pressure, move into circular direction. After this, this is the lightest tone. After this, you have to do a mid tone and then the dark tone. Even if it goes out of circle, it's fine. You can erase it later. So moving on to our second circle, here we have to use a slant technique. Now you have to apply a little pressure, as you know it has to be very thin lines. This is the lightest tone of the slant lines. Now the second tone we are applying, that's the mid tone. Now the darkest tone. you see any gaps just fill it now you have to make little thick slant lines first you have to do the light part then the mid tone and the dark tone each and every shading it applies the same little dark one hold your pencil from behind only 
but dark this stone even if it goes out we can erase it later now it's a scribble kind of technique where you have to just make s c letters out of your pencil here you can apply a little pressure so first the light tone we have to create you can do any shape or whatever you like but whichever direction you want to move your pencil you can move your pencil now comes the second tone it will be mid tone and then the dark tone. it's a very easy kind of technique people mostly use this in portraits make the entire portrait out of this technique which is very very nice This technique is is completed by using dots. You have to uh, first for the light uh, tone. You have to place your dots little far and little light. Okay. in mid tone uh, you have to place it more closer and the dark tone you have to place it very close in this technique we have to use slant line in two opposite directions we actually have to make a checks kind of design very easy and it it gives a very good look the first pencil shading which we have learned is used in this in dark mid and light tones 